Hello! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to return tickets on SeatGeek. Hmm. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your SeatGeek web application. All right, or your SeatGeek account. So here you go. If you don't have an account in SeatGeek, I'm going to show you what exactly to do. For many browsers of your choice, just launch any browser. And then in the search bar, go ahead and type SeatGeek.com. It's going to take you right into the official website for SeatGeek. Right there, click on sign up and follow the on-screen prompt to create an account. Once you're done creating an account, it's going to take you right here into this fantastic homepage where you can now navigate through or explore a lot of options to have a great experience on SeatGeek. So now that we're here, let's hop into today's class, which is how to return tickets on SeatGeek. Now, let's find if we can do that. Navigate to what's the top right corner of your screen and click on your profile initials the initials of your name and then go ahead and click on tickets now once you click on tickets it's definitely going to open up a window where you're going to find your tickets but now i do not have a ticket now do you know that if you have a ticket all you're going to see right below the ticket it's either sell or send so there is no option for selling now let's find the way let's of course go ahead and click on support and see if we can do that so here it says help with another so. mm. so we help with another so now it says can i change cancel or return my other go ahead and click on that now let's read the information it says City is a marketplace that sells tickets from a variety of sources. This means there are different ticket change, cancellation, and refund policies depending on your order details. Please log in or select an order above to get more details about the policy of your specific order. So go ahead and click on get order policy details. And then once you do that, now it says let's get some info. Check the right. So let's get some info on your event. Was your event officially cancelled by the venue? Please be aware of this. So maybe you say my event was cancelled or my event was not cancelled. Let's say it this. So it says, as much as we wish every event went on exactly as planned, we know that's not always the case. Now it says, if your event has been officially cancelled, you will soon be receiving an email from SeatGeek with info about your refund options. All right. So go ahead and click on thanks. I'll wait for my refund mail or I already received an email. Once you go ahead and click on that, then just follow through with the processes, which are definitely self-explanatory, and then you will be good to go. You'll see if it's going to be refunded or it's going to be returned, now whichever way. So this is just really the process. You can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with these steps, and once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped your search.